What's up, guys? Pep Man here, Carolina Varsity. We're going to take a look at a nice uh, interstate matchup here. We got South Mech traveling down to Rock Hill and District 3 Stadium to take on the uh, Northwestern Trojans. And uh, South Mech is 2 0 on the year. Um, they, they are my <laughs> people have joked with me um, saying that I have South Mech overrated, but, you know, I believe in them. And um, this is going to be a good test for them. Um, they beat Marvin Ridge. They beat Nice Mech. And now I think they're taking a step up. Um, <laughs> you can say the first two were kind of like the pop quizzes, and this might be your first um, exam. Um, for South Mech, obviously I think your key is to slow down that Northwestern spread offense that they're known for so much. Um, we've had some reports from Mallet Creek people. They scrimmaged Northwestern telling us that the Northwestern offensive line – uh, is a place where you can hurt them. Um, South Mech obviously has um, some talent on that defensive line to take advantage of that. Nelson, namely uh, Jake Lawler, a uh, big defensive end committed to going to North Carolina. Um, so you got to pressure, you know, the quarterback, throw up, disrupt the timing and in the spread. And that's what the spread offense is all about, timing and reads. And if you can disrupt it, you can have success in slowing it down. Uh, the key for Northwestern here. Um, South Mech offensively is, is really running the ball and throwing the ball well. Um, interesting thing about Northwestern, before I get to their key, their defense coordinator is their former coach, James Martin. Uh, James Martin at South Mech um, ran the double wing, which is what they kind of got away from that. Well, they've gotten way away from it, actually. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people don't know that, that Martin uh, took – South Mech to a state uh, semifinals um, a few years ago. Oh gosh, 2008, I think maybe. I think that was the year. Um, they got hot in the playoffs and and really made a nice run. Um, so, little known fact about South Mech there and Coach Martin, a uh, very nice guy. You know, I've coached against him a couple years. Um, Another interesting thing is um, the defensive court, uh, both the defensive coordinator and offensive coordinator for South Mech know South Carolina football. Uh, they both have they both have roots there, um, so they 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 know about Northwestern. They know about the kind of style and things that they like to do. So this is not the normal going to the blind kind of game um, that you would see from interstate um, contests you, uh, most of the time. Uh, but anyways, your key for Northwestern here is you got to make South make one dimensional. You got to take away, you know, whatever you feel like they do well and um, get after them on the other end. So for uh, South Mech, I think you got to stop the run first. Uh, Travis Prince um, got hot in the second half um, in their first game with Marvin Ridge kind of took him home. Um, in the second game, the passing game kind of sparked some plays in the fourth quarter. Um, but I think you know, philosophy, philosophy, <laughs> philosophy wise, you got to stop the run first, and then you got to get after the quarterback if you're Northwestern. Um, this is a big uh, spotlight for South Mech. This is not the kind of game that they've been in uh, the in recent uh, times. Uh, the most recent I can remember was uh, they played in that opening game with Independence a couple years ago at Memorial, and um, they didn't play that well, um, but. You know, this. I think if you're a South Mech now, you've got to come out here and show that this is really the new South where um, we don't, you know, we're not about, you know, just being average or good. This is a game where you can go from good to great in a lot of people's eyes if you win it. And I think uh, Coach Rocky White's going to stress that in his uh, pregame speech on a Friday night. So. It's going to be a real interesting game to see here. And, of course, like we say, um, if South Met can win this game, it'll say a lot about North Carolina football, say a lot about Charlotte football especially. And, um, you know, they, I think they have a chance. Um, a lot of people probably aren't giving them a chance, given Northwestern's tradition and pedigree. Um, but I think they have a chance. And if Northwestern comes out here and takes them lightly, um, South Met could win this game. So... If you're going down there, um, be loud, support your team. Um, the weather, once again, is a big factor. I think it definitely helps South Mech in this case, being that they're balanced. Northwestern is more um, of a spread 
a throw it around kind of team. So, hey, wish you guys the best. Play safe, travel safe, and uh, have a good game. Appreciate you watching, and thanks a lot.